Well hello, welcome to the video. Okay. So I've had a few friends of mine who support Liverpool say to me, well you've filmed the Everton new stadium. So what about Anfield? And certainly there's a few people that have never been to Anfield that are lifelong Liverpool fans. So that's John Holding, founder of Liverpool Football Club. Okay, so I'm learning as I go, because I've, I've only been here a couple of times, to be honest. I've never really had a, a close scrutiny. But I'll just walk round. Quite a few people filming, actually, so I'm probably uh, <laughs> not the only video you'll see on YouTube uploaded today. I mean, it is a very, very, very impressive stadium, I've got to say. So, as usual, I'm trying not to film people, but uh, she's rather busy. Quite a large, uh, large store there, merchandise and things, as you'd imagine. So I'm just trying to get my bearings a little bit to see where we are in relation to each stand and things. I'm just behind the cop now. Probably their most famous stand over the years. You can see it goes up some way. We've got a, a museum here as well, as you can see. Obviously I'm stating the obvious <laughs> as I'm filming it, so apologies for that. I've seen many a noise has been made by the cop, and I think it's the reason why the current owners have decided to uh, develop upwards rather than follow through the initial plans of a new Stanley Park Stadium, I think it was called. Which isn't a, a bad thing really for the supporters, they, they keep their ancestral home if you like. So I'm going to walk outside the perimeter a little bit, see if we can get a better angle on the, the other stands. So obviously you've got the new stand as well, which hasn't fully opened yet, I think they opened it for the a Man U game around Christmas time, but uh, not fully open yet. We'll have a little mooch. And any Everton fans that are watching, if uh, you feel that I'm being disproportionate by filming a little bit longer at Anfield, well, there's a reason for that. There's a cop bar there. And that is, I couldn't get anywhere near the building site, obviously because it's a building site, so I don't have any allegiance either way. Must admit, growing up watching Liverpool, I did enjoy their European antics. My club was in a bit of a lull that I support at that time, so to watch a free-flowing British side, or should I even say English side really, um, do so well in Europe, it was great. Okay, so I can't get in there with security. But uh, let's just have a little look on the side. So that's the Kenny Dagleach stand. And what I'll have to do is just walk right round the other side then if I can't get through there. Apologies if uh, there are a few drops of rain on the camera today. It's absolutely grim, very uh, grey and moody today. I'm going to have to be a little bit unprofessional and wipe the lens I think. There we are, trusty tissue. <laughs> there we are, it's a bit better isn't it? Supposedly waterproof this camera so we'll certainly be testing that theory out today. So any Liverpool fans who are familiar with the area you'll know exactly where I am.
So I'm sort of going back on myself now, unfortunately. I'm not showing you anything new, really, so I'll try and focus on the left of the stadium. The badges. Anybody in the comments tell me what that represents, that badge? It'd be interesting to know. I can Google it, I suppose, but... Picture of Bob, Bob Paisley. So I didn't mention, I don't think I mentioned the Bill uh, Shankly statue. I think we need to film Bill, certainly. Let's go and have a look. It's a nice little uh, tagline, isn't it? Bill Shankly, he made the people happy. Yeah. Great, it's, it's actually a really good statue, that. It's a good likeness. It's excellent. Very good. Okay. Try not to film the Academy, please. I'm sure you had an Antipodean accent there, maybe it's a visiting group of boys from down under, I don't know, or maybe it was just one of them from that part of the world. It's quite phenomenal though, I've got to say. I do like uh, stadiums. And I used to love the, uh, the cries of the You'll never walk alone with all the scars and flags up, particularly in the, in the 70s. We've moved on. I feel like a bit of a Liverpool fan, aren't I? <laughs> I can show you I'm not. Um, I just love football. I love watching great football, to be honest. And uh, Liverpool, over the years, we've got to say, the bad teams don't play great football, let's be honest. I'm coming round the opposite end of the cop now. Which I think is where the away fans go, isn't it? One part of it, anyway. <clears throat> I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get right round, actually. But I'll do my best for you. I thought it would have changed actually the look of uh, round and about Anfield because there was a, I believe, a, a plan to uh, completely redevelop. Whether that's ongoing or not, I don't know. Correct me in the comments. I know, I think, well, I say, I know, I think, that's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? I think some houses were demolished as part of the new redevelopment of the stand, from what I read anyway. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I know there'll be some Liverpool historians and fact, factual people who will put me right. I'm just going to give this a little wipe. I know it doesn't look great, but it's better than having specks all over the screen. So apologies. I'll just see whether I can get round here. Try and give you a perspective of the stadium, how big it is. I mean, it's huge, it really is. So I think once this stand has been given the uh, the all clear to the new stand, capacity will be around about 61,000, I believe. I think a thousand seats are going to be for segregation. Players' entrance. Even in there, a bit of a boogie. What is love? I hope they'll get copyright strikes for that. I doubt it. <laughs> okay, another badge. Yeah, I think the highest attendance at Liverpool at Anfield was uh, 
62,000 and something for a game against Wolves, I believe. Which is surprising, really, when you think. But, you, you know, you'd expect it to be against Everton or the Mancunian clubs or maybe a European tie, but apparently not. Okay, so there's still work going on. Diggers and things. I don't know what's going on exactly. Liverpool fans help me out. Um, there we are. It's difficult to try and see between the uh, the structure, if you like, to see any of the inside of the ground because it's it's all relatively enclosed. But uh, I'm sure there are other other videos on good old YouTube. You can have a good look, and we all know what Anfield looks like inside, don't we? From watching match of the day and things. But I just wanted to do something for the Liverpool fans as well. Prove I'm not biased in any way. I'll show you this mural. Liverpool Football Club Television. Quite, maybe these EMG wagons are something to do with the outside broadcasting, I don't know. But there's a big mural there. Ian Rush. Good, isn't it? I'll try and show you round and about a little bit. And we've got the obligatory bricks now. It seems to be popping up at a lot of grounds. And there's a lot of bricks, heck of a lot. One final place I want to go, and I don't want to talk when I'm there. Okay, so that concludes this little look at Anfield. So if anybody that hasn't been, I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe somebody who lives far away, different part of the world, hasn't been able to, to get to Anfield. I hope you enjoyed that. Just to give you a bit of a, a time stamp, it's 29th of January, 2024. Our time is passing on. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you soon. Please like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. Let's get it built up a little bit. Alright, thank you very much.